What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I want to focus in on Marty San Luis returning to Tampa tonight as a member of the New York Rangers, which is something I thought I'd never say. And, um, you know, just my thoughts on the matter is it appropriate to boo Marty? Obviously, he forced his way out, and I was critical of San Luis, but for what it's worth, I was at the same time getting out of Tampa myself and going, you know, preferably home. Well, he was going preferably home to Connecticut, New York area, and I was going home to Boston as I wound down my, my days in Tampa back then. Um, you know, eight, eight and I must go. But, um, you know, I, I can't... It's tough. I don't like the way he acted. I'm not happy with that. I think he should have been more of a consummate professional about it. I think he looked like a child. Um, you know, insert short joke here. And Marty's a guy I, I hold in very, very high esteem. You know, he didn't have an easy road to the NHL. And when he got to the NHL, you know, one of the elite players, two-time scoring champion, former league MVP, Stanley Cup champ in Tampa. It was obviously an integral part in the, the light in the uh, Rangers going to the, the Stanley Cup final last year. But, you know, I think the powder keg had set off, um, you know, and the friction with Steve Eiserman. There are very, very, very few people in the game of hockey I hold in higher esteem than Steve Eiserman. Um, you know, natural born leader, Mr. Red Wing for all those years. Um, you know, was was one member of some of the best teams in recent memory in Detroit, and you know, has helped construct a really, really good team in Tampa as general manager. Um, if Steve Eiserman walked into this room right now and said, I want you to bash your head into that wall ten times, I'd do it, and then say, do you need me to do it again? He has that kind of leadership quality that you just want to follow because, um, you know, he'd do it himself. You know, that, that's just the way he, he played the game, the way he was as a leader. So, you know, I, um, you know, I, again, I, I hold him in the highest of esteem. And, uh, you know, I don't like, again, the situation with Marty St. Louis, but as someone who left Tampa under similar circumstances and couldn't wait to get the hell out of there, I can't fault him for it. Um, but, again, I, with regards to the fans, I think I, I, it's tough. It's it, He will get booed. But let's just call it what it is. And I think, you know, Tampa fans have every right to be upset with him. You know, this is a guy you stood by and supported for, you know, 12, 13 years, and then he comes around and spits in your face and says, I, I want to get out of here, right when the team's going back to the playoffs for the first time in, in three years, you know, last year. And the Ryan Callahan, you know, getting Ryan Callahan, getting Callahan to re-sign, and then, you know, getting the, the draft picks back, you know, was an absolute coup by Eisman. Because you think about it, Stanley Lee had Eisman's hands tied, saying, I'm, I'll only accept a trade to the New York Rangers. It's like, well, you want out of here so bad, you know, you should have traded him to Edmonton or somewhere for, you know, a six-round pick just out of spite. But Eisman has too much class to do something like that and managed to make the most of a bad situation. And I think in the long run, everyone's won up. You know, I think long run, Tampa wins. Short run, uh, the Rangers went to the cup final last year. You know, was that their, their preferably last hurrah? I don't know. That, was that the apex of what they're going to do in New York? I don't know. You know, the East is tough. I think Tampa's a better team than they are this year. I think part of that is Ryan Gallagher. I think part of that is the, the, the shrewd moves I have made over the offseason. Slid a fine, already good team. But, you know, it's going to be an emotional night for everyone. Um, it's a little bit different than when the Cavier. It's a lot different than the Cavier leaving a year ago. Um, you know, the Cavier kind of got forced out the door by having one of the most erroneous contracts in hockey, and then signing another erroneous contract. Um, but you know, Marty was, um, you know, epitomized class, and uh, you know, just did things the right way for so long that, you know, while the break, you know, while I think it's right to boom tonight, I think his number will be retired. I think it should be retired, and um, you know, I hope the fans. Remember all the good times they had. You know, when you win the Stanley Cup, and you you know you're an integral part of you know making the Lightning a relevant franchise. You know, you can't forget that because the way it ended. You know, as ugly as it ended, as shitty as it ended. Um, you know, he, he had, there were a lot more good times than bad times during his days in Tampa. Yeah, kind of like mine. You know, and I just think it's funny. You know, Le Cavier left, San Louis left, I left. You know, I, I think I left two months of the day after the, the San Louis trade. My old home. So, and I was again in the process of doing so when he was asking out. And we both kind of found ourselves in Tampa, which I think is, is kind of funny. So, as I compare myself to one of the best NHL players of the last decade, but um, you know, again, I, I hold Stevie Y and um, and San Louis in his high esteem. But you know, hopefully, again, the fans show them their displeasure, but also remember all the good times. You know, I think you got to think about it from, from both perspectives. And I think, you know, I see, Marty said he's, you know, happy having his family around in, in New York. And, you know, I obviously live in Connecticut during the off season. Um, you know, being closer to, to home. And obviously he's from Quebec. Um, the Lightning got a great player in Callahan and, you know, got a great chance at winning the Stanley Cup this year. The Rangers got to go to the final last year. And, you know, they got, um, you know, you know, they got a good team now, so we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's on episode of the Power Play with CJ and Marty San Louis returning to Tampa. Stay tuned for episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.